Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Infinity Saga set review. Today we are looking at set number 76209, a number that is drilled into my mind. It is officially Thor's Hammer and this set actually has a total of 979 pieces and is retailing for $99.99 USD or $129.99 Canadian. So this set actually mysteriously was pulled off of shop at home yesterday and it was actually up for pre-order and I don't know what's gonna happen when it does come back eventually. Now in Australia, it actually has been delayed until March 15th. I don't know if that's what's happening here. I hope it's not and hopefully this does release next week on March the 1st. I actually received this copy from Lego slash LAN, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I assume it's just like production delays. There's a lot going on right now in the world. <laughs> um, so I assume it's probably just down to that, but this came in a huge box. And as you can see, as I keep panning up and down here, it's a massive set and it is a little bit repetitive at times, but honestly, I really loved it. And you're building something that's like, I don't know, like the handle, it's probably the most repetitive part, but as you're going through, you're like, whoa, this thing is getting heavy. This thing is massive. And like I said in my Infinity Gauntlet review, which looks really tiny compared to this, is that uh, I really just love the power that you feel when you're building this. And to me, that's definitely what I felt while I was building this. I felt very mighty. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this set. To tell you the dimensions of this set, it's actually a total of, with the base, which I wish it was just of the hammer, it's 18.1 inches tall and 11.6 inches wide. Now, I, I, I'm, yeah, again, wish that it was actually the dimensions of the hammer, but to give you a sense of scale here, uh, here's Thor, like just putting that next to it. I think that's crazy on its own, just so you can see, and it is heavy, like just to show you, and you're gonna hear when I smash this down on the table in a second, like you're gonna hear a lot of Lego moves, so I apologize, but, and fall on the floor, but it moved the camera. Like this thing, it's, it's strong. It is heavy, it is massive, but this handle is so cool. Like, again, when things get warmer outside, I wanna do a video like maybe throwing this or something outside. Like, I just feel like that'll be so fun to do. The only thing that I think coming out of this set that I was disappointed by was actually the handle. I really thought that this would be bigger than it was. Like, I can only fit two fingers through here. And I really thought like, you know, it would be nice if it was a bigger strap. That would require them to create a new piece, and this is actually using video straps from the beatboxes. And again, the handle is so cool how it is actually the exact same here on each side, and it just kind of rotates around. The build is the same here for this as well. And on the top, you've got a really cool, almost, uh, you know, it reminds me of like a Lego stud on the top, so that's really cool. But the shaping of this is insane to me. So I've actually removed a few of the panels just to show you because I think it's really interesting. I actually removed some of the panels just to show you because I think it's really interesting. Like this was a whole section on its own that you just kind of like place on top. And I think that's so cool to me. I will say the only problem as well besides the strap that I have with this is this here. As you grab onto the handle, you'll see that specifically some of the plates will actually shift and you kind of just have to press back down and fill in the gaps there that's being created. So I think that's a bit of an oversight. I think, I, and I don't know how you'll be able to do that, like what piece could fit there for you to be able to attach it, but that does create of a bit of a problem when you're kind of holding it there. So yeah, as you kind of just, you know, hold on to the handle, you're gonna create gaps and you kind of got to go back and fill that in. You know, it's not a Nerf toy. It's a Lego display set. So it's not meant for swinging or throwing or hitting people with it. It's meant to just sit on your shelf and be a display piece. There is actually something else with the hammer that I haven't shown you yet. So just lifting up these different plates here and removing them, you actually get access to the inside of the hammer. And you can see there's a spot down there for studs. And what you are able to do is, you don't have to do this, but you can take this part here, which we'll take a look at in a bit, you can put that on inside there, and you can actually attach the whole thing inside there and close it on up, almost as if it's 
Odin's vault inside of the hammer. So I think that's really cool that you are able to do that. Of course, I wouldn't swing it around with that in there. I also don't know why necessarily you would want to hide that away because it is so cool. But you have the option to hide something inside there. You always see those videos of like people being like, you know, where they hide their money in their Lego city. You could hide your money inside Thor's hammer. And then here is Odin's vault and it's really awesome. We've got the eternal flame there as well as the infinity gauntlet, which is technically a fake um, in the actual vault, which we saw in Ragnarok, Hela knock it over. And we've also got the Tesseract there and that was actually used from the Hydra Stomper set from What If and it's a Minecraft head in transparent blue. And here is like the base where you put Thor's hammer and it's really cool. This is actually our second plaque from the Infinity Saga, the first one being the Infinity Gauntlet. The Iron Man helmet unfortunately was branded under the Avengers, which I wish they would go back and change. But I really like the almost electricity effect. I think that's what they're trying to go for here with all of the different trans light blue pieces, like him hitting the ground and like it kind of cracking and, and creating like this little sparkles sparkles, you know, from Ragnarok, uh, sparkly effect. So I think that's pretty neat. Some of the parts being used here are really interesting. Like that part has been around for so long. Like it's been used to like mold mountains and things like that. So it's crazy to see that being used here. Also, we've got <laughs> the city road plates here. The new road plate system is actually being used underneath this. So I think that's really interesting. I don't know, honestly, if I'm going to keep this the way that it is like i think i might just display it with the, the plaque on a shelf or something without this but i think that it is a cool option for you to actually take the hammer and line it up so that it can actually be on an angle so it, it's cool i like the idea of it so i don't think i said this about odin's vault section but this was a completely unnecessary surprise like normally with like the helmets or even the infinity gauntlet there's no figure or anything included so to have this in here it's a brand new Thor. We've never had this outfit from the very first movie. So I really appreciate that. I hope that in the summer, maybe we get a destroyer set or something with this Thor in it. He's got the hammer. He's also got his hair there in tan. And if I lift this up, you can see he's got some really cool back torso printing. And if I remove the hair as well, he's got some lightning sparkly eyes there. So really, really awesome. And here are the instructions, and I think it's always important with an 18 plus set to look at it just because, you know, they go a lot in depth with like what is going on and just some of the things that they are using as references. So pause it if you want. You can read it all on your own time. You can see it in its bare bones state there. A little quote from Odin and some pictures of it. And I know a lot of people wanted like that, and that's just not always there as well as just like the this line there um it's it's not always on the hammer it just appears sometimes uh so yeah just thought that i mentioned that i know some people were disappointed it wasn't included but that's pretty much it there's nothing about the designers and no there's no advertisement for any upcoming sets on the back literally nothing well there you have it everyone that is my review of thor's hammer and i really love this set i think it is just so great i need more of these and i love the concept of it i love the fact that we got like the additional figure and the little odin's vault section it's crazy unfortunately i think the price might deter some people and i'll I feel like a lot of that is going towards those plates. That's a little frustrating. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What would you like to see come next? Maybe an Eye of Agamotto, Cap Shield. Leave it all down below. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.